Setting up Sage Payroll When accessing Sage Payroll for the first time, you're presented with this screen. In this video, we'll cover how to enter your existing employees manually partway through the tax year using this option. If you're unsure which of these options is the correct one for you, please watch this video. To enter data manually, you'll need the following information from your previous payroll system. Employee details including but not limited to full names, addresses, start dates, national insurance numbers and their date of birth, year-to-date earnings and deductions. These are often shown on P11 reports. P11 reports will show information such as your earnings to date, but they'll also show deductions to date. For example, PAYE, national insurance, student loan and statutory payment values. Employer year-to-date information. These are often shown on a P32 report. This report provides you with reclaims of statutory payments and any employment allowance reclaims. Pension scheme information and provider information are also required. When to migrate. You must migrate your payroll at the start of a new HMRC reporting tax month or quarter. This is how often you pay HMRC or run your P32 report in your current software. Tax months run from the 6th of one month to the 5th of the next. The first tax quarter runs from the 6th of April to the 5th of July and then every subsequent three months. Complete all pay runs within your current HMRC reporting month or quarter in your existing payroll. Then you can switch to Sage Payroll at the start of a new reporting tax month or quarter with all of the relevant year-to-date information. Let's take a look at setting up your payroll. In this example, we're entering employees manually partway through the tax year. Therefore, we should choose this option. If you're entering manually at the start of the tax year, please choose this option instead. To continue, click here. You are now presented with step one of the Add Payroll Data Wizard, which will take you through the process step by step. Work down the page from top to bottom and complete your P32 reporting details. This information should match your previous payroll system. Your last completed P32 reporting period is the last full tax month or quarter completed in your previous software. Next, specify the frequency your employees are paid and their pay dates. To do this, select the relevant pay frequency and complete the information. If you have more than one pay frequency, simply select all that apply. When you are happy with the information entered, Click Next. You will enter your employees here, specifically the employees you've already paid this tax year. Any new employees are entered elsewhere and we'll cover that later in the demonstration. Start by clicking Add Employee. Enter the employee's name, then complete the required information below on the Personal Details tab. We recommend you enter as much information as possible. Before you click save, move on to the tax details tab, entering as much information as possible here. If you're transferring from another payroll software that uses RTI pay IDs, you must enter this here. Now you should enter the employee year to date values. To do this, move on to the opening balances tab. You will need your P11 reports for this section. If your previous payroll software doesn't provide P11 reports, there'll likely be something similar, which provides all of the necessary values. These reports will tell you how much your employee has been paid in the tax year, including how much pay was subject to national insurance between the earnings bands. Select the checkbox for paid this year and enter the year-to-date information. It's important these details are entered correctly 
as they directly impact your employee deductions when you pay them, such as PAYE. The information you enter here relates to your employment only. Please note there are three columns here in case the employee has changed national insurance category part way through the tax year. If they have remained on the same category throughout the year, only use the first column. If they're a director, select this checkbox and enter the information. Select this checkbox if the employee has received any statutory payments since the 6th of April this tax year. Enter the values in the relevant boxes here. If the employee has paid any student loan so far this tax year, please select this checkbox and enter the relevant information here. If this employee started with you this tax year, after the 6th of April, select this checkbox and enter their starter information. Any brand new employees that have not been paid by you should be entered elsewhere and we'll show you that in a moment. Once you're happy with all of the information entered for this employee, click Save. Your employee will appear here. However, they are not saved into your payroll software until you click Next. Therefore, to save your progress, click Next and then click Submit. Now your progress is saved. Our top tip is to submit the information after inputting each individual employee. Once you have clicked Submit, you can easily access the setup and continue adding your employees. You can return to the setup wizard by clicking here, or if you are in the payroll summary, click here. Please note you can only edit the setup before you process your very first pay run. If you need to enter more employees, follow the on screen steps. If you have any brand new employees, you should add them by clicking Employees from the top menu bar and then choose Create Employee. Enter the employee details and any starter information you have. Employer information. When you migrate data from an existing payroll system part way through the tax year, you should also enter your employer values. For example, statutory payment recovery values and employment allowance reclaims. This information is found on your P32 reports. You can add these details in the next steps page. To get back to this from summary, click here and then click here. You can also add these by going to settings and entering the information here. Pensions. Before you process your first payroll, you should enter your original staging date or your duties start date for automatic enrolment. You can do this here. You can set up your pension scheme in the Pensions tab. If you don't know how to set up your pension or which setup option applies to your scheme, please check with your provider. Alternatively, you can cross-reference with your previous payroll software. You can find further help by clicking this icon. This icon is available throughout the software and will take you to the dedicated help file you need for the page you are on. You can watch our help videos by clicking here. If you require further help, you can browse and search our help centre by clicking the help option at the top of your payroll. If you'd like to complete e-learning courses for free, please visit Sage University. You have now learned how to set up your payroll using this option.